We're here at MACNA 2013. I got uh, Scott with Red Sea to tell us about the reef care program they have. Well, in essence, the reef care program is a, uh, a program of test kits and supplements that enable a hobbyist to, number one, determine what it is that they want to get out of their aquarium. Are you going for growth? Are you going for coloration? Or something in between? Most of the supplements that are, are available as far as uh, trace elements and such are sort of a one-size-fits-all. Just telling you to add a teaspoon for every 25 gallons. We're trying to come up with a more customized program of dosing or supplementation based upon your goals or objectives in your aquarium. Obviously, by taking control of some of our nutrient levels, our nitrates and phosphates, uh, getting to a lower nutrient system, we can help our corals to grow, but this will also slow their growth rates. For a hobbyist that has frags in their tank, they're going to want to keep their nutrient levels a little bit higher, also their foundation elements higher to encourage the growth of the corals. You know, what I like about this is it really begins with the core maintaining calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium with your ABC program. Right. And uh, what's nice also is uh, you have it in not just a uh, liquid format, but a, a powder format, which is a little bit better value for a lot of people if you have a big reef tank. You know, what's really cool after that is you get into the coloration of the corals and the health. So maybe you could touch on a little bit about how you guys deal with trace elements? Well, most of your trace elements, of course, cannot be tested at home. Reagent test kits simply are, are not able to let you know how much fluoride you may have in your aquarium, for instance. So what we have uh, come up with in our research is a predictable ratio of elements which is largely based upon calcium uptake. The faster that your corals are growing, the more supplements that are, or uh, elements that are taking out of the water. So we have a program that is very simple, based upon calcium uptake, that for every 10 milliliters of calcium that you would need to add back into your aquarium to maintain your desired calcium level, you would add one milliliter, it's a 10 to one ratio, of each of these four bottles of trace elements, and you know that you're replenishing these elements at a very predictable ratio as the corals are taking those elements out of the water. So how does the, uh, the reef energy with the A and B come together and kind of complete the whole thing? Well, the reef energy, again, what we're looking at is a very energy efficient way for the corals to, to get their, their nutrients. Of course, in most of the photosynthetic corals, the zooxanthellae algae is going to provide 80% or so of the, 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 the energy that they require. Uh, in our aquariums especially, supplementing with the uh, Reef Energy A and B helps to replenish a lot of the amino acids and the other elements that the corals are going to lose just through their, their growth and metabolic processes. And it does it in a, basically the smallest building blocks, the actual amino acids, the simple carbohydrates. So the corals are not using a lot of energy trying to digest large particulate materials because they obviously don't have very sophisticated digestive systems. We can just simply look at a coral and know how long it takes them to actually break down a mysis shrimp or uh, you know, some of the other types of uh, particulate food that we're giving them. The energy A uh, will actually cause the corals to respond to the, the, the scent. They'll swell up, which increases the pore size between the cells and allows them to more efficiently absorb the nutrients. So is Reef Energy A then the uh, carbohydrate component of this? Yes, the Reef Energy A is the energy source, which is primarily the, uh, the simple carbohydrates. Okay, and then B will be, I guess, the amino acids and vitamins. That is correct. And the amino acids are typically a larger molecule, and again, this is why it's good to get the corals to respond to it, actually open up the pore sizes so they can absorb the nutrients rather than trying to capture a, uh, a particle and then slowly digest it. So again, for me, we start with uh, the calcium and alkalinity uh, and magnesium. I should also note that the strontium is in with the calcium because they're so closely tied. And then we move on beyond that. We do uh, hit on the colors. It's, it's really clear to me. I know what the expectations are. If I use these products, the colors will improve. And if they do, I'll continue using them. And it will provide value to me. And beyond that, I want additional growth. They'll use your Reef Energy program. If I get growth, man, I'll continue using it. So uh, I really like the clarity uh, of the promises that your products are giving. So, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, 
it was really nice for you to spend time sharing this with us. Thank you. Cool.